early intervention as a concept, not only for psychosis, works across mental health. And that's the thing we want to be able to build, is the practice of early intervention across everything that we do. The achievements, I think, will be to see the KPIs met, so people seeing within two weeks, 50% or more of the time, and being able to access the evidence-based interventions or the nice, nice standard interventions. I think we're going to build on this by uh, events like today, so pulling together the people who have been involved up to now, um, gathering their thoughts and views, working as a collaborative essentially. We have to continue with the communication and ensuring that we do work collaboratively and having the honest conversations that we need to have in partnership. Sometimes people work in silos. You can't do that when you're dealing with people's families, their thoughts, their feelings and their well-being. I think the barriers to implementation are always if you have an input requirement on things like workforces, workforce and the availability of people is always going to be difficult. So I think if you have a service where you're looking for results, what matters to our service users, what matters to their families, and we concentrate on those outcomes, then that's a far better way of implementing a good service for the people who need it. I think we are working with our providers to get a better sort of granularity, better information from them around uh, activity and also measuring those outcomes and making sure that there's consistency of outcome um, and inevitably, uh, hopefully, an objective is to get sustained outcomes so people could live their lives and get on with things, get on with families again, get on with education again, you know, and they don't come back into services needlessly. I need you to all work together like a family would. You are a family of mental health experts, but you have to start to listen to each other, whether you be mental health professionals, commissioners, NHS England, whoever you are, you are a mental health workforce and the clients are actually your employer. It's important that as health economies we learn to work together to overcome the barriers. The barriers are only self-imposed by our structure. We need to work through our structure so we deliver to the people who need the service on the ground. Early intervention psychosis has uh myriad ways that it can uh, benefit not just the health economy but much wider. Uh, keeping people out of hospital is an obvious one, but equally keeping people out of social care. Uh, it could have an impact on education and people getting into employment, policing. There's, there's a whole range of other uh, government services, if you like, national services that can be positively affected by a better early intervention in psychosis service. The power in the regional network is equity. The, the challenge for us is to network. The benefit is a greater degree of consistency and equity. Also, if we do this together, we can meet the needs of people who might cross boundary. EIP will benefit the local health economy by being the most effective way we can look after these folks. You save the local economy an absolute fortune because you not only support and care for the person with an illness, you care for the family, you educate the family, you educate the friends and you show them how they can actually support and help that word recovery throughout an entire family.